Hi everyone and we are going to start by solving one problem in this video and the problem is Ganesha's pattern. So in this question you are given a value of n and n will be an odd number as said and you have to print the following pattern for a given value of n. For example if n is 7 then you have to print this kind of a pattern where this the number of columns in each row is 7 and also the number of rows is also 7 and the basic shape of the pattern is like this that is a swastik pattern okay so we want to learn how to solve this problem so the fundamental approach that you can adopt in any pattern problem is you have to break down the pattern into some uh, components okay so if i look carefully in this pattern you will see uh, the components which are very similar they can be clubbed into one component so this component okay so in this component you have two rows and they are very similar so this can be called as one component the first row is different from all other rows so it will be a different component and the next row this is also different from all other rows so it will be a different component and these two rows are same so they will form a single component and similarly this row is quite similar to the first row but there is a difference in spacing okay so this will again form a different component so if we carefully see we have two three four and five components in this pattern and always break the pattern along the rows because uh, when you're going to print this pattern on the screen your cursor is going to move along the rows you cannot print a pattern along the columns okay so remember you will always print the pattern along rows so this is one thing to take care of so if we carefully see now how do we break this pattern okay and in our case the value of n is given as 7 and in the first row if i see what is the pattern let's talk about row 1 or the component 1 you have to print a single star and then you have how many stars here you have basically four stars so you need to find out a formula that relates 4 with 7 okay how 4 is re related with 7 so this is n so in terms of n how many stars you will have so clearly the number of stars is nothing but n plus 1 by 2 and this makes sense because it's one more than half the number of uh, half the half the value of n okay so this is something what you need to do so you have to print n plus 1 stars and you have already print one component here so how many spaces are left okay so clearly you have n characters here okay so this is one two one two three four five six seven so out of you have already used uh, these many components this is n plus one by two okay so you have to subtract n minus n plus one by two minus one so these many stars you have already used out of n possible columns in the first row so number of spaces will be nothing but 2n minus n minus 1 minus 2 okay so this is nothing but uh, n minus 3 by 2 so these many spaces you need to print so if we if we want to verify if this is correct so let's say n is 7 so 7 minus 3 by 2 so 7 minus 3 is 4 and 4 by 2 is 2 so you have to print two spaces in the first row so this is how you find out how uh, how many spaces you have to print and let's talk about second row in the second row this is very easy okay so for the next two rows for next two rows okay okay so how do we know how many rows we have to go like this so clearly total number of rows is 7 out of which the first row middle row and the last row these are special rows so these are special rows so how many rows we are left with okay so we are left with 7 minus 3 that is four number of rows and out of four rows two rows will lie in the upper part and two rows will lie in the uh, bottom part okay so effectively for how many rows we have to print so we have to print for n minus 3 by 2 for these many rows we have to print a pattern in which you have star at the first position you have a star at the 
last position this star this star and you have to add some spaces in between them so how many spaces so these number of spaces exa is exactly same as uh, the spaces we computed for the first row so these are also n minus 3 by 2 number of spaces okay let's talk about the third component so in third component you have, you don't need to do anything just print n stars so write a loop and you will print n number of stars in this row what about the fourth component the fourth component is very similar to the second component and one addition that you have to do is here you will have to print three spaces so whatever is the number of spaces you have computed that is n minus 3 by 2 so here you will print n minus 3 by 2 plus 1 so one extra space you have to print then you will print a star then you will print n minus 3 by 2 spaces then you will print the star and then you will again repeat it for the next two rows and for the final row it the logic is very similar to what we have done in the first row and here you have to print some number of stars so this number of stars is four number of stars okay so this is nothing but n plus 1 by 2 these many stars you have to print you have to print uh, two spaces that is n minus 3 by 2 and finally you have to print one star and that you can do using cout star so this is how we have um, broken down a complex pattern into a simpler one right so i hope uh, this splitting is clear and now we will see the code of code for this part okay so let's uh, go to the code and for that i would be typing the code in sublime text <coughs> okay so <coughs> here are we so first thing is we have to take input the value of n then we have to print certain number of uh, okay <coughs> stars okay so we have to print the pattern Alright, so uh, we have to print this pattern and we will try to print it component by component. So firstly, we have to print the first row or the first component and that as I sh shown you is this component and in this we have to print a single star followed by some spaces and followed by some stars. So clearly these are nothing but n plus 1 by 2 stars. Uh, you can also verify n is 7 so we have to print 4 stars this is nothing but n minus 3 by 2 spaces that we have computed and this is nothing but a single star so let's quickly write it the code so in the first component you have to print a single star followed by you have to use a loop and this loop will run n minus 3 by 2 times and this will actually print the spaces so we can say okay for these many uh, values you have to print a space and after that you have to actually uh, print the number of stars so for int i equals to 1 i less than equals to n plus 1 by 2 i plus plus and you can do c out star so this actually completes our first component and here you can give a new line also let's talk about how to print the second component in the second component you have to so you have to print a star followed by n minus 3 by 2 spaces followed by another star and then you have to go to new line and this you have to repeat for some number of rows so you have to print multiple rows with the same pattern okay so how many rows you have to print that we have already figured out so out of a total of n rows you have three spe special rows so the remaining rows are n minus 3 and of which half of the rows are in uh, top part and half are in bottom part so these many rows you have to 
print with uh, this kind of a pattern okay so this pattern is also easy so let's try to print this pattern so yeah let's do the second component so i can say okay i will use a loop for rows for rows equal to one rows less than equal to n minus three by two rows plus plus and for every row i will first print a single star then i will print spaces so for int let's say i equals to one i less than equals to n minus 3 by 2 and i can say i plus plus and then i will do c out space that's it then finally i will print one more star so i print a star and then i can change the line so i can do this so this completes my second component the third component is very simple you have to just print n number of stars in the third component so i can say for int i equal to 1 i less than equal to n i plus plus and let's do c out star and let's end the end line by new line so this is our third component let's come to the fourth component so fourth component is uh, quite similar to the second component so here you have to add three spaces in the beginning okay that's one thing that you have to do extra in this case before uh, repeating this stuff okay so the, this is nothing but this is n minus 3 by 2 whatever is the stars here plus 1 so you are printing one extra space whatever is the number of spaces here you are printing one more space here so this formula is also easy so let's uh, use a loop for rows for int uh, rows equal to 1 rows less than equal to n minus 3 by 2 rows plus plus and then we can first print spaces then we have to print star then we have to print spaces and then we have to print star again so printing star is easy here we go and let's print this star also and these spaces okay so these spaces int i equals to 1 i less than equals to n minus 3 by 2 plus 1 i plus plus and i do a c out space so we are done with the space part and these are the spaces so here you can uh, easily figure out so out of n you have out of 7 you have used 3 spaces and 2 stars so how many you are left with you are actually left with 2 so this is same as n minus 3 by 2 so this is n minus 3 by 2 so these many uh, spaces you have to print so for int i equals to 1 i less than equals to n minus 3 by 2 i plus plus c out uh, space that's it so this completes our third component uh, uh, sorry fourth component and we have to print the fifth and the final component and this component now looks like this so you have uh, stars so this is nothing but n plus 1 by 2 stars followed by uh, two spaces that is n minus 3 by 2 spaces followed by a single star so let's uh, print the fifth component so first we have to print stars then we have to print spaces then we have to print single star so this is easy c out star and l and then we have to print out some spaces okay so these spaces are n minus 3 by 2 for int i equals to 1 i less than equals to n minus 3 by 2 i plus plus c out space that's it and then we have to print stars so these this is also easy so we have n plus 1 by 2 stars and let's do it so the code is complete and let's try to run our code now so let me just run this okay slight mistake here 
okay let's uh, fix this problem in the fourth component so we have some done something wrong in the fourth component so let's see how the fourth component should look like we have spaces followed by a star spaces and star okay yeah so actually this is a problem we should not give a handle here let me do it again and yes now this looks perfect and you can see this actually follows the pattern that we have given in the that we are given in the problem and it works for all values of n so clearly this is the solution for the hacker box problem and we we can also try to submit it so let's copy our code and submit on hacker box So meanwhile, it's getting judged. So you can uh, see we've, uh, how we can solve this problem. And yes, we uh, got the correct answer, which means we could successfully solve this problem. And my advice to you for all other problems is uh, learn how to break down your logic. Okay, so you actually need to understand what uh, rows are similar, what components can be printed using loops and what components need to be held with a special case so that's all for this video i hope you would like it and you will also solve this problem on hackerbox thanks a lot bye bye